Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be comparing the all-new 2021 Ford F-150 Tremor to a Gen 2 Raptor, because right now, you can buy a used Gen 2 Raptor, well, some used Gen 2 Raptors, rather, for about the same price as a brand new Ford Tremor, so obviously it begs the question, Raptor or Tremor? First and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larich Miller Ford Lincoln here in Provo for giving me some time with both of the trucks. Check out their inventory link below. Let's get into the video. Now let's pop under the hoods of both of the trucks. Starting over here with the Tremor, we have a twin turbo 3.5 liter V6 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission, fuel economy 16 around town, and then 20 on the highway with power outputs being 400 horsepower and then 500 pound feet of torque, and it has a 3.73 rear end. Popping over here to the Raptor, we have a twin turbo 3.5 liter V6, goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission, it's good for 450 horsepower and then 510 pound feet of torque. Fuel economy is 15 around town and then 18 on the highway, and it has a 4.1 axle ratio on the back end and anyways that's the raptor that's the tremor now let's go over the front ends of both of the trucks so starting over here with the tremor notice we've got the cool like venting accenting there at the top of the hood and then coming down below we've got these led accent lights here with the reflector leds notice how everything's darkened including the ford logo and then we've got a camera below the ford logo parking sensors along the front with some skid plate action happening right there. We've got some tow hooks as well, which kind of match the accenting just up above. And yeah, that's kind of that. And then notice that you can't really see all that much. You can see the tire, but everything's kind of closed off. Now popping over here to the Raptor, cool venting. We've got the LED lights here. And look at how different these headlights are compared to the new F-150 headlights. It's pretty crazy how things have come along. But Got the marker lights as well because it's super wide, gigantic Ford logo with a camera below the logo. And then we've got the tow hooks, skid plate action as well. But notice we can see quite a bit more how they have everything more exposed. You can even see the shocks and all that fun stuff. Uh, but anyways, that's the Raptor. That's the Tremor. That's both of them. Now coming to the side here, we've got two 75 millimeter tires wrapped around 18 inch wheels here on the Tremor. And then we've got three 15 millimeter tires wrapped around 17 inch wheels over on the Raptor. So you can see we've got a much beefier tire on the Raptor compared to what we have over on the Tremor. So I guess we have that like commercial, it's like hefty, 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 wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. Okay, anyways, now this is an 18 Raptor. So we've got the beadlock capable wheels from 18 and look pretty cool. We'll talk about the shocks in a second, but there's the front shocks. And then you guys can see the wheels and the tire here on the Tremor itself. And then the front shocks. So let's talk shocks. On the Tremor, we have the monotube shocks in the front, and then we've got the dual shocks there in the back. As for the Raptor, we have the crazy shocks from Fox. And now this is an 18, so it doesn't have the live valve that you have the 19s and the 20s, but still pretty advanced stuff. And it's actually easier to see it in the rear with the Raptor because they kind of showcase it. There you can see again those Fox shocks and then see everything here in the Tremor. Not as much to see, you know, obviously it's not as crazy and showcases what you have on the Raptor, but I'm sure you guys are wondering what it's going to feel like. So what the Raptor is gonna do is on road, it's gonna kind of sway back and forth a little bit more. This is gonna be a little bit more planted, but then off road, the Raptor is gonna absorb things a lot better. Whereas this, it's just not as advanced from a shock perspective. So it's not gonna absorb it as well, but it's still gonna do a good job. And yeah, let's finish with that. As for the rest of the side, we've got off-road side steps on both of them. And then we've got the mirror action. Notice we've got that Tremor logo right there. We've got some venting on the Raptor. Door handles, a little bit different. Obviously different generations. And obviously the Raptor with the wide body is a lot wider. We've got the Raptor logo. We've got the little Tremor logo. Let's head to the back. Key fobs are the same, funny enough. That one's slower. Payload capacities, 1,681, 1,084, so the Tremor has a lot more payload. Now popping over here to the Raptor, you guys can see we've got the liner here, and then we've got the LED lights. Cargo light there at the top, got Ford's bed step. Then popping over to the Tremor, we've got the bed step, we've got the new like measuring chart right here. This one doesn't have a liner or anything like that. See the difference with the lights and all that, and also we get an outlet back there. Camera at the top of the cargo lights, and well, so you. Let's go see if this tail gets heavier, actually. Uh, yeah, it actually is. Interesting. Let's finish things off with the rears. We'll start over at the Raptor this time. Notice it's got the giant Ford logo. It says F-150, says Raptor. By the way, don't ever get this deleted. People get this deleted from the factory and it looks so silly. This is the way to go. Got the giant exhaust tips right here. 
got the recovery hooks on the back, and then notice that we've got the parking sensors with the receiver hitch. Tone capacity for this generation of Raptors like 7,000 something pounds if I remember right. Popping over to the Tremor, you can see that we've got the Tremor logo, all that fun stuff, recovery hooks. We have dual exhaust tips as well. Tone capacity is almost 11,000 pounds, so quite a bit more. And then notice the difference with the taillights. Got the LEDs over on the Raptor, and then we've got more marker lights here on the back. And wait for it. That's the rear. We're gonna start things off here at the Tremor so you guys can see the nice material up here with the stitching and then soft touch down below. And then more of that. Again, the off-road side steps. Seats look definitely pretty cool from a stylistic perspective. You can see the cup holders, charging area, all that fun stuff. And then if you guys are wondering, from a seating capacity standpoint, it feels about the same uh, in terms of like the space there in the back. And popping over here to the Raptor, got the carbon fiber trim right here. Notice that the door panel isn't nearly as nice. And then coming to the seats, got the full leather seats with the perforated leather. And then you've got the heated seats here in the back, got the charging area, and like I said, just feels about the same from a space perspective in the back. I might be wrong, but at least it feels the same. But anyways, please. Now going over the door panel here in the front of the Tremor, again, really nice material use. You can see both the window controls, door lock and unlock, got the blind spot monitoring, and then got the Tremor seats, all that fun stuff. You guys can see adjustments there in the seats and the pedals. Got the pedal adjustment, light controls, lights outside either side, tailgate drop down, steering wheel is manually adjustable, and gonna pop in. Ooh, ooh, pretty cool. So notice with the steering wheel, nice leather all around it. We've got the contrasted stitching as well. Got all the controls for the center stack, your cruise control, that fun stuff. Got the turn signal windshield wiper stock. And then as for the gauge cluster itself, got analog gauges with the screen. You can scroll through a few different menus, mostly just pay attention to the graphics. And then we've got a bunch of different drive modes. So we've got our normal tow haul, eco, sport. And then on the flip side, slippery, deep sand, mud ruts, and then our rock crawl mode as well. And then over here, we've got the auto stop start. That's for the camera and the parking sensors, hazard lights, stability control. And then this is kind of like your off-road cruise control. And then we've got the full 12 inch display here on the Tremor. Now it's got the backup camera right there. And you can see there's 360 views. So you can literally see every single angle. And you've got this new like zoomed in view on the receiver hitch. Not gonna spend too much time on that. And then here's the screen. Notice response time on it is great. That's a big difference to notice between these two trucks. Uh, and obviously it's absolutely massive. Pro trailer assist, trailer brake controls. We've got the locker on the rear and then we've got the drive line select connected to the drive mode select and then notice that we've got our radio controls climate controls as well we've got some outlets right here and then notice that we've got some storage space there storage space rather with the phone holder a couple cup holders and then notice we've got the shifter there for that 10 speed automatic which you can fold down if you want got the manual shift function center console nice with the top of that and then the glove box with both notice material use is nice and then you guys can see there at the top of the dash and then we do have the auxiliary switches here in the tremor at the top power sliding window and well that's kind of like a brief overview let's head to the raptor now going over the door panel of the raptor you've got nice padding right here and then you've got more of that carbon fiber trim your window controls memory seats blind spot monitoring there for the mirrors got these full leather seats here with a nice bolstering got the adjustments in the seats the pedals down below with your power adjustable pedal button, light controls, mirrors outside either side, or mirror lights, rather. Closing it. Got the cool animation right there, and then with the screen. Notice with the steering wheel, definitely a lot beefier. Got the nice paddles there on the back of the steering wheel. Got pretty much similar controls. Obviously, it doesn't look as nice as the new F-150, but you've got, like, the controls for the radio, for the cruise control, all that fun stuff. Let me turn down the climate system. But we do have some stuff that I guess that the regular F-150 doesn't have. So we've got a steering wheel feel. So you've got your comfort, normal, and sport. And then for the drive modes, got normal, sport, weather, mud, sand, and well, it always does that when you do that with the Raptor Baja, and then rock crawl as well. So a little bit different. And then you guys can see the animations with the gauge cluster, how that looks a little bit different. The new F-150, obviously everything kind of looks a lot cleaner, a lot sleeker. This is the old setup. And then aside from that, We've got like our hill descent control right here, and then it's hard for you guys to see. Stability control, you've got that for the camera, hazard lights, auto stop start. Speaking of camera, if we pop it in reverse, here's the backup camera. 
can zoom in there on the receiver hitch. And then there is a front camera as well. It doesn't have nearly as many viewpoints as a new F-150, but you know, still gets the job done. As the infotainment system, not as responsive, not as big. So there's that. We've got the analog radio controls. We've got the outlet right here. Climate controls, heated, cooled seats, heated steering wheel. Notice we've got the axle lock. Now the driveline selects different with how it looks, but also we have four wheel auto, whereas that tremor does not. You have to get a more loaded tremor to get four wheel auto. Trailer backup, trailer brake controls. And then we've got more carbon fiber that covers that. Um, some extra storage here. Again, that shifter for the 10 speed automatic. Couple cup holders, center console, all that fun stuff. We've got the glove box. So we don't have a dual glove box, just a regular one. More carbon fiber, leather trim at the top. Auxiliary switches, again, so that's all the same. Power setting window, again, panoramic sunroof in this. So that's pretty cool. And that's the Raptor. Now let's talk about pricing. So obviously when the Gen 2s were brand new, if you got like a fully loaded one like this, you're gonna be like over $70,000 before dealer markup, all that craziness that was happening. As for the Tremor, stickers are about $60,000. A fully loaded one is like almost $70,000. But obviously we're going used price because you can't buy these new anymore and you can only buy these new right now. So we've got a $60,000 MSRP right there. And then these used, there's a huge range right now. If it's super low miles and it's a newer one, some of them are going for over MSRP now. Now something like this that's got over 70,000 miles, it's an 18, so it's a Gen 2.1 is what I call it little bit less money so the price range seems to be from like 50 something thousand to well over 70 thousand again depending on the truck so a bit of a price swing but it is what it is now this is where we have to pick a winner and this is really difficult for me so here's what i have to say if you're actually going to take the truck off road raptor right you're going to have the more advanced shocks and it's just going to be a little bit more capable because again it's got that 410 axle it's got the beefier tires it's got more ground clearance everything's just a little bit more aggressive on the raptor but if you're going to just do some light off-roading like camping all that kind of stuff and you're mainly going to use the truck for on-road use the tremor has a much more modern interior feels nicer i mean obviously it looks more modern the raptor still looks cool but i mean that definitely has a more modern appearance to it uh, so it just depends on what you're using it for so if you're gonna do some light off-roading with mostly daily driving tremor if you're gonna pretty much do tons of off-roading well, Raptor is going to be the route to go. Now, that's going to sum things up for our video comparing this Gen 2 Raptor to a brand new 2021 Ford F-150 Tremor. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Schmiller Ford Lincoln here in Provo for giving me some time with both of the trucks. Check out their inventory link below. I'll see all of you in the next video.